The marinade starts with just a little bit of red wine, about a cup and a half. You want to put this in a plastic bag and into just a dish because this has to sit in the refrigerator for about one to eight hours to really marinate through the flank steak. Now, flank steak is normally really tough, so the acid from the red wine is going to break down that steak and make it so nice and tender. You're going to love it. By the way, I'm putting in here just zesty herb marinade, and this has got delicious garlic, peppers, and a variety of herbs in it, so pick this up at the grocery store. Of course, Bobby would use all the fancy stuff, but I need something quick and easy with everything in one package. Pop that in there. Now into this, I'm also going to put a little bit of rosemary. Just about a teaspoon goes in here to add flavor. And this is, of course, dried rosemary. If you're using fresh rosemary, you'd need to have, you know, two to three times as much, but this is more concentrated. Give this a whisk. And blend all of that seasoning into the wine. Now, I must tell you, when I told my nephew Bryce that I was doing Bobby Flay inspired recipes on the show, he's like, oh, Aunt Sandy, I have to meet Bobby Flay. That's his idol. He loves Bobby Flay. So, Bryce is very, very excited about these meals. And what he likes the most is he gets to help me in the kitchen make them. Now, seal up the bag. And you need to work all this through and make sure that that flank steak is just bathing in that red wine. Now this goes into the refrigerator and you can marinate it for an hour and all the way up to eight hours before you put it on the grill. I like doing it longer. That way it's nice and tender. Now this I've already marinated. And this needs to sit out on the counter for a good, you know, 20, 30 minutes so it comes up to room temperature. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to make sure that it grills, it cooks evenly. And that's what bringing it to room temperature does. And then right onto the grill. Now, if you want medium rare, you're going to have to grill this for about six to eight minutes on each side because a flank steak is really dense. I need to get the flank steak off of my indoor grill. Now, this is Bobby's red wine marinated flank steak. And if you notice, I put it on the grill diagonally so that it works against the grain of the meat. It looks nice and professional which is exactly what you want. This has been set here for about five minutes. It's really important that you do that. Otherwise, if you cut it right away off the grill or out of the broiler, all the juice will run out. So make sure you let it set and then take your fork as a guideline, just like you would when you cut your turkey, and go diagonally just like this. And look at how tender and juicy this is.